There are very few trailers that can handle the D11, but the Lando Holo makes it look easy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey, uh, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look at the Landall 845 AG Hall All Series presented by Custom Modding. This is only an early preview of the mod. The mod is not out yet. However, it will be for all players of Farming Simulator 19 as well as players of Farming Simulator 22 and players of American Truck Simulator if you guys play on that. As you know, there's no release dates for mods, so we're really not sure when this is going to be out. However, I can tell you that it is currently with Giants for testing as we speak. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at everything, all the little details and everything that you need to know about this trailer. Let's start off with some fun information about the trailer. Did you know that this is going to be Mod Hub's first American low boy? It's true. When you first buy the trailer, it's going to come like this with the front hitch kind of pointed up like this, and you're actually gonna need to adjust that whenever you start up. So back your truck up, hook up to it, and then adjust. Ba boom How cool is that? That is pretty cool. And then from there, you can make small adjustments, large adjustments, kind of whatever you want to do. All good. You can put it where you want. There's also automatic air suspension on the rear axle. So when the neck is disengaged, check out the tires on the right hand side of your screen. Boom. And they lower down to bring the entire trailer down automatically. You don't even have to do anything. Then when you hook back up, boop. It automatically adjusts itself. There's also real suspension going on in the back, so it all automatically works independently on each axle. Whether you're running two or three, they're all going to be completely independent of each other. How's about the mud flaps? Yes, the mud flaps work as well. These have realistic movement exactly like you would see in real life, and that's going to be again whether you're using that third axle or not. What about some oversized signs, lights, and flags? Well, we've got all of them. Plates are foldable, so you can fold those up and down if you wish. There's also oversized aluminum signs for land all, which open according to the opening of the deck extenders. Those are present on the neck and between the rear axles. And what about lights? Yeah, those are quite literally everywhere. Oh, oh, hey -oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. LED lights are on the entirety of the model, uh, and they're all in 3D as well as in real life. The optical set has small LEDs, and their mod, it is like that too. More realistic, impossible. <laughs> One other really cool feature is the gooseneck flip extender. This is a gooseneck extender that attaches to the chassis, as you can see right here. So when you buy this with the option, uh, it is connected automatically right here, and it will extend automatically when you back up your truck. So let's jump in our Phoenix. We'll just back up and hook, boom, right there. When this is enabled, by the way, you cannot use the normal fifth wheel hitch right there. So just heads up. <laughs> Well, whatever it is and then raise it up and rock and roll now as you guys saw in the intro uh, i did have the d11 on here and it was sitting pretty low it was very very heavy i mean it's the heaviest thing in the game so yeah uh heads up there with this you may want to drop it down just a little bit more because with the extension you've also got much much higher run so uh drop that down just a little bit you should be good to go. But yeah, there you go. You've got a nice gooseneck extender on there as well. And of course, as was mentioned, we have a viable third axle. So when you get this, well, all you got to do is back up to it. And that's honestly, that's kind of it. Boop, just like that. Even if you go in, you can raise it up and lower it if you want as well. So you can do that. Boom. And now you've got your... Uh, oversized warning sign right there you got it all folded up nice and neat and you can bring it back down as well that's one of the really neat features of this trailer oh yeah and when you buy this it's actually going to come on a pallet this is something that custom modding saw in real life and oh well that would be pretty cool and said that it was a bit of a challenge <laughs> to incorporate this with farb sim 19 but boom no issues whatsoever. Let's party, baby. And the last special feature that we're going to talk about before we get into the customization is the wheels. They got several options. You've got Alcoa aluminum and steel wheels, color options in addition to the optional tire inflation system. And the tires are double coin brand 255 70R 22.5. So 
with all that i'm sure you guys want to take a look at this thing so let's jump into the store and let's start customizing once the mod has been released and is on the mod hub what you want to do is you want to go into tools you want to go into low loaders go over just a little bit i think i've got every single low loader installed so it may take you a minute but you're going to find these on the left hand side from landall 845 ag haul all series and the third axle so let's start right here with the trailer absolutely gorgeous <laughs> i mean custom awning just killed it didn't they absolutely yes they did let's go over all of our customization starting with the rim colors let's see if i can get kind of close to it here so we've got chrome we have stainless steel white and black so these match uh, most of the colors that you would use with stuff like this so there you go we're gonna stick with chrome today and then main color we have black and we also have galvanized you don't have to make this look uh, black and normal like, uh, well, like that. You make it galvanized still if you would like that as well. Pretty cool there. Wheel covers. We've got no. Yes. Back and forth between that. It's going to add some wheel covers on the back. And also, if we flip around to the front gooseneck, it's also going to add in uh, that as well. So check that out. Go with that. It's one of my favorite customizations on here. It just kind of brings the whole mod together. Next, gooseneck flip extender. Yes or no on here as well. Uh, if you've got this installed, remember the regular gooseneck will not work. You need to use the extension. So if you don't want the extension, you can't just turn it on and off like you want to in game. Uh, it's either there or not in the customization. So check that out. Then frame color, yes or no. So this is gonna put a cover on it. Uh, the, I believe it's the, uh, Oh goodness, what do you call this? <laughs> Where you run into stuff, there you go. Uh, the the ramps on the back, the collisions, yeah, good job. The collisions on the back, those are always there, so they're gonna be invisible if there's no cover there. So you may wanna just go and put the cover on, plus I think it makes it look good overall. One thing with the gooseneck and that, uh, it looks a little bit funny on there, there's a little bit of clipping, but I'm not sure if the two are meant to be used together or not, but uh, it's not awful. Okay, go for it if you want to. Oversized signs, we have flags. We've got aluminum signs, which are gonna place themselves on the signs. Actually, we could take off the frame. You could see exactly where those signs are gonna go on the rear axle between the two and on the front. You're gonna add those there as well. So you got that, or you could just do no overall. Coupling system, three axle. Yes or no, you want that if you want the third axle. So if you want third axle, boom, yes. If you don't want it, then you can put no, and that's totally okay. Wood full, yes or no here. So you can either do all the way or just on sides. I think it looks good just on sides. Makes it a little bit different. And then lastly, we have wheel setup. We have standard wheels, and then we have the air system. So if you guys want to put that on there as well, you can pretty cool pretty cool stuff uh it's a pretty expensive trailer it's gonna cost you between 120 140 thousand dollars depending on customization so be ready for that but i'm sure you guys are and then quite literally we have the same customization or very similar customization on the third axle so main color galvanized or black and the rim color chrome stainless steel white or black all the same and that's not where the similarities stop either you've got wheel covers no and yes so you can make that match up if you want to frame cover yep you can throw your frame cover on there if you want to wheel set up air system or not and then oversized sides yes or no so no flags foldable sign which is not there because you actually need to have your frame cover on for that foldable sign to pop up or you could do bottom oversized sign, which is going to show that whenever you flip it. And you could do, of course, all of the above. All of the above is always my favorite anyway. So there you go. One thing to note is whenever you get all the pieces purchased, you're actually gonna have different pieces for your deck and for the neck. So heads up there, uh, this may be one of those things where you wanna buy maybe two different trailers, but you only wanna use one goose neck itself. Well, you can easily do that. Speaking of, we should definitely load something onto this since that is exactly what it's for. So let's jump into our Phoenix. Let's extend this out a little bit. I think today we're gonna be taking along, uh, what do you guys wanna take? Maybe a 9RX? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. Nine RX, let's do it. So what I want to do is we want to extend out three, four. So there's four extensions all the way out with that. So we want that for sure. Then we want to disconnect. So I'm gonna raise up the gooseneck just a little bit, kind of help me out here, get myself situated and centered. So we'll come around here, do like that. But the thing is too, you could raise it all the way up and just drop it. Yeah, that's totally doable, by the way. And there's that. Now, we just need an RX. Uh, type it in, nice and easy. We're gonna go with the one from the Borgo DLC here. Boom, boom, boom. I think that will be just fine. Load it up and put it on there. And that's kind of it. Uh, there's, there's really, I say not a whole lot to the trailer. The trailer, there, there's a lot going on with it. The detail is incredible. The functionality is absolutely perfect. Does exactly what you would expect it to do. Um, and it's, you know, it's a trailer. <laughs> Rock and roll, it's a trailer that a lot of you guys have been wanting to see. Oh yeah, by the way, the collisions, those are always there. That's what I was talking about. So heads up, if you wanna put that on, I would definitely put those there. And then just simply back right back up to it. Hook up. Come on, there we go. And then we're done. That's it. Ta-da. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. The Hall All or Landall Hall All AG845. That was all out of order, but hey, you guys get it. You guys get it. And there you go, right back where we started. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you learned something new today about Custom Mining's Landall 845 AG Hall All Series. Oh man, it's got a long name and it's a long trailer. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new, join the Go Ham fam. Make sure your notification bells are on so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Got a lot of stuff planned for you for this trailer and other mods as well. So if you want to see some more early looks at mods or if you want to see some more of this, stay tuned to the channel. Custom Onig have also released a few videos as well. So if you want to see more of this trailer in action, more so than just the technical side of things the way I do it, well, make sure you check out Custom Onig on Facebook and YouTube. Link below. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.